we spent in cleaning the banking sector and the money we spent in um, putting the energy sector back on track so we won't see doom so. And then the money we spent yeah, on dealing with COVID, Aisha might say there were some external funds on COVID, but all of that come together to make the 54 billion Ghana cities. We spent, we spent a, 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 third, a, a quarter or a less than half of that money to roll out all these flagship programs. Mm. So this 54 billion could have done a triple of what we use for the flagship programs. Mm. Now, what I'm trying to say, or the point I'm building is that right. if we spent all these monies to clean, to put the economy back on track, and to do whatever necessary we have to do, and then credit rating agencies being very much aware of the situation, that we had a domestic issue, we had to deal, we had we had domestic issues from previous governments we had to deal deal with. We came to um, COVID met us on the way, and we had to mitigate that one too. And then credit rating agencies, even in some of their statements, they will admit that COVID has dealt very bad with every country. Nobody has been left out of the debilitating effects of COVID-19. They go and then they rate us, they downgrade us, they mark us down, and then investors are uh, investors' confidence are heightened. Um, the international capital market will say, yes, you guys are not credit worthy. So when you come, we, we can't give you any money. And then um, um, uh, other, other factors, when, when it happens like that, you can't go to the international capital market. It means you'll be dipping your hands into your foreign reserves. So the demand for dollar, uh, the supply of dollar will reduce because there wouldn't be enough dollar in the system, circulating in the system. Right. And then all of that will lead to uh, put pressure, uh, very uh, uh, pressure on our local currency, that is a CD. Mm -hmm. When there's pressure on the currency, it means more money will chase fewer goods. Mm -hmm. When you carry plenty CDs and you go to the market, you buy just a few goods. Mm -hmm. And then Ghanaians will feel the pinch. They'll go like, ah, and then my wedding, we are suffering. You take money to the market. We, are, we all are not left out. Where you go, we experience it too. Mm -hmm. And then they are complaining. But it, all of this is coming from somewhere. So the president was trying to say that, yes, we have our own domestic issues. Of course, when we try to even pass a levy at the parliament, we saw a lot of impasse, a uh, lot of mishaps, uh, fightings, and all of that from the minority. Right. And then credit rating agencies were watching us. They will mark us down. They will say, you guys are not doing well. So all of that were contributing factors to why cost of living rose, and then Ghanaians felt their pockets were not you know their pockets were not light enough mm. and people felt the pinch people felt like mm. but then if you admit in your statements that yes we are aware that covid has dealt very bad with everybody we are aware that you guys have had an internal issue a domestic issue that you didn't even create right that you came to inherit mm. that you had to deal with you know all of this and you still go ahead and you downgrade us and then it puts confidence uh, level on uh, this thing. Investors, it heightens invest investors' confidence level. International uh, and, and capital market says we won't give you any loans and all of that. And you come back and you still come and downgrade us. Then what are you trying to tell us? Mm. So the president said that he was trying to make that credit rating agencies were being reckless about downgrading us. They were not being considerate about what we came to see, the problems we inherited that we had to deal with, and all of that. Uh, it's not fair. Okay.